guys, what's up? It's me, Martina, and I'm here with a new video. I am recreating this look, well, this eye look. I already had done my base. I'm doing this eye look, and it's good, really good for if you want to go on a day or a summer look or an everyday look. I actually really, really like it that I might do it as an everyday look because it doesn't look too, too crazy. And I really, really like it. It was really, really easy. I didn't put any eyelashes on because, like you guys know, I'm not really an eyelash fanatic. Ever since I used that mascara, I don't need it. I don't want to like use falsies. I'd rather just use the mascara. If you guys want to see how I put this look together, continue watching. And thank you guys so much for subscribing. Okay, so I already did my whole base. It's basically the same thing. The only, the only thing that's different that I put on my face was the Fenty concealer. Love it. Favorite concealer. Oh, and the powder. And if you guys want me to do a video using it, let me know. So the first thing I'm going to do is bake under my eyes just in case there is some fallout. So the palettes I'm going to use are the MAC ones. It is the Patrick Star Collaboration. And this one is the Play With Me. This one's really pretty, it has four different shades. And this one is Stay With Me. And these are more of the purpley shades. And these are really pretty too. So I'm gonna try to use these two together. And there's not a lot of shimmer shades that I wanna use in that. So I might go back to the Huda Beauty one at my Neon palette and use some of the one of the shimmer shades because I really like the shimmer shades in this palette. So what we're going to do is, like I said, I'm going to bake under my eyes. So just in case I have some fallout, it'll catch it and it won't stain my face. Not stain my face, but it won't um, mess up my makeup. And I won't have to start all over like my other video because I am not about that life. Put a lot. So that's the look so far. It looks like I have like eye, eye masks. So the first shade I want to use is, let me see, let me open my palettes up. So the first shade I'm going to use is this shade right here, and it's like a mauve pink, and I'm guessing, oh, this one's called All's Rosy. So I'm going to use that, I'm going to get a blending brush, grab some, and I am going to use that as my transition shade. I really need to get my eyebrows. I could see the hairs coming out and I haven't even plucked them yet. It looks really pretty. I mean, you could have built it up a little bit, but not too much. And I already have mascara because I, I don't know. I'm just so used to putting mascara on at this point that I actually put it on. I had a volleyball tournament today. It's like a small, like a, not a tournament tournament, but a volleyball game. And it was with one of my coworkers. It was really fun. We could have won set three seven hundred dollars three hundred dollars we lost it was like a knockout kind of thing they were doing we lost right away it was fun though i really really enjoyed it i had fun but we lost right away and i hurt my pinky really badly so when i drive when i'm driving that's when i realize that's when my pinky starts to hurt the most because i like drive weird and i haven't played volleyball in a while so i was a little rusty thing with this palette is that the shadows in this palette, this is a little patchy but it looks really pretty like it's a pretty color but it's just patchy it's a pretty color to be honest i really really like the color so now i'm gonna use out of all eight there are only three matte shades and it's this one this one this one and i don't want to go straight ahead with a dark shade i'm gonna try to use this one right here i know it's a metallic shade but i'm gonna try to see what i do i think this is called yes no wait yes Oop. it's called yes i'm gonna try to grab some there's no mirror on that try to blend this out on the end mm -mm. Nope, nope, that's not gonna work at all. Let's just go ahead and grab the darker shade. Oh, it's actually pretty. I just over went a little overboard and put too much. I actually like that so far. It looks really like, I don't know, like I'm trying to go more for like a nice, natural, flirty kind of look. I'm like going back and forth with the brushes because I put too much product on this and I'm trying to blend it out with the, um, a brush that doesn't have any shadow in it. So I'm gonna go back and dip my brush into the color. Oh, I didn't even see the color. It is called, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't see any fallout so far. So I think we're good so far. 
And guys, okay, so about the mascara, I want to give a little shout out, shout out. Okay, so the mascara, I recommended it to one of my friends that has the same problem as me, as like curly eyelashes. I mean, like straight eyelashes. It made me laugh because it was one of my old friends and um, she texted me, she was like, oh, I got uh, a, YouTube, a new YouTuber recommended me this mascara. The first thing I did was FaceTime her. To me, it was like the funniest thing to me. I don't know why. And I wanted her to keep me updated. And she loved it. Well, I think she loved it, but she liked it. Her eyelashes actually did stay straight. Oh my God, this blouse is so annoying. I'm just trying to save people's eyelashes that suffer with straight eyelashes. So yeah, so this is how it looks so far. I really like it. It looks really, really cute. So next, I kind of want to... So I'm going to get some of this pink shade right here from the um, Neon palette. Well, actually, yeah. Okay, so I'll put it right here. In the, uh, the front of my lid. i move you guys a little closer. So I'll put that in the front of my lid right here. Inner lid, I guess. I'm gonna give it that softness. Softness. But then later it's gonna go BAM because of the um shimmer we're gonna put on it. BAM! 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 Next, I want to... So I'm debating if I should put my eyeliner. I don't want to do that bright purple one. Maybe like this pink one. Or do you think that's gonna be too much? Let me put the shimmer on and then we'll see, okay? Okay, so we're gonna put this pinky shade right here. Hello! We're gonna get that shade. So we're gonna put that in the front. Yes, look at that. And I didn't put any spray because I forgot to bring it. So it looks really, really good even without the spray right now. I'm just packing it on. Because I have hooded eyes, I remember how I gotta go up a little bit. It looks so cute. And I feel like this is a really good like look to go like out on the town, just you know, doing whatever. So I'm gonna dust this off really quickly. So I dust all the powder away. I just used an eyeshadow brush because I forgot my powder brush. Dang, look, see, look at all that powder. So what I'm gonna do now is I wanted to put this blue eyeshadow that's in this palette in here in the Patrick Star one in the play with me in the shade Hickey no nope in the shadows it's this one so I'm gonna put this one under my lower lash no actually actually okay reverse so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some eyeliner under my lower lash oh my god I keep saying literally I keep saying lower lash when I'm meaning my waterline so we're gonna put some and it's gonna be this purpley shade it's called grape juice my waterline Guys, for the past few days, I have been re-watching all the Lilo and Stitch movies. And like, I'm obsessed because Stitch is so cute. He's like the cutest little cartoon, like the char like the cutest character ever. And it makes me laugh because every single time he does something really cute, I have to reverse and re-watch that part. It's, he's so cute. I can't, like, I can't help it. I wish I had a Stitch. So what I'm gonna do now is get that blue shade and put some under my lower lash. I'm gonna smudge it under my lower lash. Honestly, I got some blue in my eye. I feel like the blue kind of helps intens intensify the purple. It looks really cute. Actually, I feel like it really like brings out my brown eyes because I feel like when I, sometimes when I do eyeshadow, it's like because I have brown eyes, it doesn't really make my eyes pop. But I feel like the blues and the purples actually kind of make them pop a little bit. Pop. Now I'm still debating if I really want to do um, pink eyeliner or if this gonna ruin it or purple, like a light purple. 
I'm not gonna do the eyeliner anymore because I feel like it looks good the way it is and I'm scared that I'm gonna mess it all up. So what I'm gonna do is retouch on my mascara because I feel like the powder went everywhere that I kind of want to make my eyelashes look more alive. First, I'm gonna curl them upwards, of course. So curl them. And I feel like with this mascara, you know how, like I said earlier, like I applied some earlier. When I reapply, it doesn't like um, clump up. Well, for me, it doesn't. And that's what I really like. I'm literally like, please, Tristique, sponsor me with this eye mascara. I am obsessed with this mascara. It's the only mascara I can use. And if this mascara ever got discontinued, I will literally die. I will die because... It is the only one that works for me. So this is the look so far. I actually really, really like it. It looks really, really cute. Like I said, I feel like it makes my eyes pop a lot. And I just really, really like it. It's really cute. It's really not natural because I put the blue. But it just looks really, really nice. I really, really like it. It's subtle, cute. Like I'm not really like a purpley kind of. Um, I don't really wear purples. Or, like I said, okay. When I started doing my videos, it's when I actually started wearing the eyeshadow looks. That's the only time because like I'm still not haven't gone to that point where I'm really confident in going out wearing eyeshadow because it's just me. I'm not used to it, but I really, really, really like this. Back to the lips. Of course, I'm going with gloss, but first I'm going to line my lips. I want to give it a little bit of color. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bear to Commit. This is probably like my favorite lip liner shade and it's really... And it's really creamy. And I'm running out. See, this is all I have left. I need to get another one. Or try out like other shades probably. And I really overlined my lips on accident. So I'm gonna use the shade Bitty Bitty Bum Bum from the Mac and Selena Sel Selena collab. So yeah, I really, really like the shade. I haven't used it. And I was like, you know what? Let me just use it for this video because I feel like it'll be perfect with this look. And I always use glosses, especially during the summer because I feel like I feel like glosses is like the essential like summer look. And also because I don't like matte lipsticks, matte liquid lips on me. I have some, but I just, it doesn't work for me. See, it's really, really pretty. It has like, it's like a really pinky like and sparkles. I feel like the gloss really puts makes the look. It looks really really pretty. I look all glowy, all summery, and yeah, I put my hair up because it got hot. I feel like me putting my hair up kind of like actually topped the look. But the thing is, like I have baby hair, so I really gotta like hairspray it or whatever. Yeah, so this is the look, and I'm really really proud. Of it. Like I'm really really proud of it. It looks really really cute, summery. And yeah, anyone can like, I feel like anyone can pull this off. And if you have brown eyes, it'll literally make your eyes pop. Just letting you guys know. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I have something really like video coming up that I am like really excited to make. And yeah, it's like, it's like the best idea I have come up with. And I'm really excited to do it. I feel like it's going to take me a little while to film it, but I'm still going to try to get videos out before I even post it because I feel like it's gonna take me about a week a week and a half to even film it or something because it's a lot and so yeah so I hope you guys really liked it and enjoyed it if you guys want to recreate it go ahead and if you guys do tag me maybe not because I'm no one really still does no one knows who I am so yeah thank you guys for subscribing I really appreciate it if you guys really like the video comment down below like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video